We do a lot of ecological restoration at Stantec and through this opportunity I am allowed to introduce orchids to a lot of the restoration sites that we currently design, manage, and monitor long term. Some of our long-term clients include the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. There are a variety of nature preserves where we do active restoration on their property. And through this program, I'm able to also then reintroduce orchid species. Um, and, and frankly, no one is doing this. So it's a, it's a service that's entirely unique to Stantec. Well, today is, it, it kind of culminates a year of planning and work with Melissa at Stantec and several other partners in putting together a native orchid shade house. We have about 800 seedlings of the pink lady slipper and about 60 seedlings of the white lady slipper. And behind me, we are planting the seedlings in individual pots and they will live in the shade house for a year or maybe more and then we will um, take them and plant them out in suitable habitat areas throughout Wisconsin. Melissa came to the DNR with this project a few years ago um, because it involves some rare orchid species. In the case of at least white lady slipper, which is one of the, the species we work, we're working with today, it's a great habitat indicator. There's some times where sites have degraded so much that species actually wink out and even if we returned and return that site to some um, past quality, the species is gone. And so being able to propagate those species, which is what Melissa is doing here, is really important. My work that's funded through Greenlight is, has been uh, leveraged for, to secure additional grants to support this project. So essentially it was seed money to be able to continue the research and bring in more partners. To really restore orchids means to restore an ecosystem to a higher functioning capacity that most people do not do. So by figuring out what best suits these plants by studying them in the wild and raising them to a size that can be outplanted, we're in effect, I think, raising the bar for restoration. The conservation community has to be bigger than just the, the state agencies and the federal agencies. We absolutely need as big a coalition as possible, so it's great that Stantec is getting involved. Um, and, and this is a great, a great project that no one else was tackling, so this is really filling a void. Most local firms are, of course, worried about their bottom line, and at the end of the day, their billability, and to have someone who can really think outside the box and more selflessly to finding a project that suits a specific conservation organization that's just, that's kind of wholehearted in my book.